Let's now take a look at the UV stitching tools in Blender. So to demo this, I have taken our same head model here, and I've just put a seam all the way down the center to both sides to give us two separate islands. And maximize my view again, what I want to do is I would like to stitch both of these back together. So let's first just hit the V key to bring up stitch. And you can also find this if you go to the UVs and stitch. And if I immediately do this, we can see that things go kind of crazy. But if we just hit enter, we can see immediately what happens. And it actually, strangely, kind of worked. Um, let's take this a step further, though, and just kind of slow, slow it down. So hitting V will basically stitch all of our UVs together as it can. And it will act on the selected islands where green vertices indicate that it basically it's found its, you know, its match, its partner, and it can stitch it together. Red means that there is no match and it won't stitch. Now, it works on all selected vertices, and so we don't really want to do this. So you could either right-click or escape to get out of stitch mode, and then simply go down and select the vertices that you wish to use. Say something like, you know, go in, select them all manually, whatever. And if you then hit V, you would find that it would then find its partner and stitch those together. Great. Do note that there is a set of options right down here. So first of all, you can see S is snap on or snap off. So should it move the adjacent or the uh, appropriate island into place? In this case, you can see that moves very nicely right into place. M will turn midpoints on or off, so it'll move both islands into place. And obviously the orange wireframe represents your final stitching. Setting Turning L on will adjust limits. So basically it will only move it if it's within the specific limit. And you can adjust this limit using Alt plus your scroll wheel. So you can see as I scroll up, this limit is increasing down here. And if I just go way, way up, you can finally see it'll start to connect and then it'll just keep going. It's very nice and interactive. So that works great. Let's just hit L to turn that back off. We don't really care about limits. And then we can hit I to switch islands. So which one is it going to use as the connection point or basically which island is it going to move? And then lastly, we can also go in and just hold down shift and just start selecting the vertices that we want to, or deselecting the vertices that we want to add to our stitch. So we can just go in here, start selecting all of these. Now we cannot, however, uh, use any other selection modes. You know, as soon as I tried to lasso select, it canceled it. So going back into, into uh, stitching, I can just start putting all these together and that works okay. But you can obviously see that we're getting some overlap here. So this would probably be a kind of a rough spot that we may want to try and merge or else you could just simply, you know, not stitch all the way through, then maybe do some relaxing or whatnot. But of course that is entirely up to you and what works. So that's the, the basics of stitching. It works quite well. As Soon as you decide that you're ready, you can simply uh, hit enter or left click. It will then stitch those together which then, you know, obviously you could follow up with perhaps some relaxing or whatever else you needed to do to those stitching. Now, of course, this is a pretty bad example because you would probably never unwrap a head this way, but it really showcases the process and how quickly and easily Blender stitching tools work. So again, just to go back in, let's get out of UV sculpt mode, hit V to stitch. We'll just grab, say, these three vertices, hit V to stitch, increase our limit, And you can see these ones are not able to stitch together until we turn midpoints on because I had midpoints off. And so it wasn't able to go all the way. There it goes, left click, and there we have it. So works quite well. That's UV stitching in Blender. Uh, pretty straightforward and to the point, but very nice, interactive, and gets the job done.